You know how education works, right? It's that thing that happened to you during the daytime for almost all of your childhood. Different rooms, different teachers, and every step of the way, you add to your knowledge. You level up and up and up, becoming more capable and aware of your world. You get better at communication, at manipulating numbers, at understanding our universe and our past and our potential futures. And all along the way, there are people there helping you and other students in your communities. But the field of education is much broader than what you see in a school building. It includes resources for early childhood and vocational training, counseling to help students find their way in the world, the development of the actual curriculum that will be taught, government policy, leadership, management of children and adults, and on and on. One goal of the U.S. government is to provide every person on education at least through high school. And that's not just good for helping individuals become better, more effective citizens, or get higher paying jobs, or grow and develop, it's good for everyone. But it is also hard. Students are in a huge variety of situations. People disagree about what should be taught and how it should be taught. And new tools can be very powerful, but only if we figure out how to use them well. Hi. I'm Hank Green, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series presented in partnership with Arizona State University and Crash Course. In this episode, we will talk about what you will study in an education degree. The education major is basically learning about learning. It explores how all different types of people learn and how we can best teach them. And this goes far beyond looking into how the average person learns. In education, we want to understand how teaching and learning work best for the learning disabled, the gifted and advanced, the twice exceptional, the motivated and the unmotivated, the wealthy and the poor, minority populations, different cultures, everyone. So education looks at what impacts learning, including family life, social and economic status, personal motivation, psychological well-being, just tons of factors. And because it touches so many lives and intersects with so many big issues, some people choose to study education because they believe in its power to address widespread systemic problems in society. Others are fascinated by how people navigate and interpret the world around them as they grow, and still others were inspired by an educator themselves and want the chance to be that inspiration for someone else. Since there are so many interests and ways to tackle education, the courses you can take vary depending on what your school focuses on and whether you are pursuing a teaching credential or not. Your education-specific courses may include things like education theory, child development, contemporary issues in education, and curriculum development with a dash of broader topics like psychology, philosophy, and teaching methods. All courses that talk about how we learn and grow and how best to teach. And because becoming an expert on the way everyone learns would probably take multiple lifetimes, education majors often focus their coursework on a specific age group, like elementary, middle, or high school, or a specific area of interest, like language arts, mathematics, science, or history. Many, but not all, education programs, at least in part, focus on helping people become teachers. And if you want to be a middle or high school teacher, you will likely have to focus on one of those specific subjects. But you can also study areas like adult and continuing education, special education where we focus on students with disabilities, or multilingual education. If you do plan on becoming a teacher, you will also need to spend part of your studies student teaching in a real classroom toward the end of your time in college. And in order to teach after graduation, you'll need a teaching certificate in addition to your degree. Now, certification is handled at the state level, and requirements differ from state to state, so you'll need to research what specifically applies to you. But typically, you must have a bachelor's degree in any topic, not just education education, and have completed some sort of teacher training either as part of your bachelor's degree or afterward. In most states, you can begin your public school teaching career with a bachelor's degree and a certification test. But in some cases, you might be able to begin teaching right out of school with an emergency or temporary certification, or get your certification as you go. And some special types of schools don't require teachers to be certified at all. In general, education majors involve a range of classes and can pair well with a variety of topics. Like if you plan on teaching a specific subject, you may choose to minor or co-major in that subject as well. Or if you're interested in education research, you might take classes on statistics and research methods. So there are a lot of different ways to personalize your studies. But while no two education majors are the same, students who choose this major often care deeply about the world 
and want to make it a better place. They have a love of learning and helping people better understand things, and they may be highly interested in making different systems more accessible to people and addressing equity, which focuses on getting everyone the resources they need to be successful. Overall, if you are thinking about pursuing an education major, it helps to be patient, well-organized, and flexible, particularly if your goal is to teach in a classroom. But it's important to note that not everyone who majors in education ends up or wants to end up in front of a classroom. Education majors may pursue counseling or administration, or go on to fill learning or training and development roles for different organizations. And some people major in education because they're interested in the psychology of learning or creating government policies related to education, like how much funding schools get or what curriculum standards have to be met. So they may go on to pursue careers in research or public policy. And whether you start the education major and find it isn't for you or you're looking for an area to double major in to expand your knowledge, there are lots of other areas where courses or topics might overlap, from psychology and sociology to early childhood education and applied behavior analysis to social work and global studies. There is so much to learn, and that can be really exciting and really hard. And the education major isn't without its obstacles. Like, sometimes people who have dreamed of being teachers since they were five get in a classroom and find it is nothing like what they expected. In an ideal world, teaching would involve a room full of well-behaved students ready and eager to learn. But the real-world classroom is a lot more complicated. A lot of the time, you will be trying to teach something to a group of students with a wide range of knowledge and experience, and other students may have emotional or social problems that disrupt the learning environment. Teaching and running an entire classroom is kind of like performing a super complicated dance where no one else remembers the steps and the audience is asking when lunch is. It requires tons of energy as well as the ability to inspire while mediating conflicts, handling behavior problems, and personalizing learning for each student. Even if you enjoy learning, studying knowledge theory, or teaching in small groups, it's still possible that you will find that you don't like classroom teaching. And since student teaching doesn't usually happen until close to graduation, you might feel like you realized this a little too late. The good news is, even if you are about to graduate, it's not too late to pivot. If you still love learning about learning and exploring education theory, you can apply your education degree toward a career in curriculum design or education policy. Alternatively, you could go on to pursue graduate studies in education research or administration. There are also ways to test the waters and see if teaching is right for you before you declare a major, like volunteering at a local school, leading after-school clubs, or getting involved in sports programs. Opportunities like that can give you a sense of what it's really like to lead a group of learners. And also, it looks awful good on a resume. Again, teaching is not the only career out there for education majors, but it is the most common. So let's talk money. Now, talking about salaries is hard because so much can change year to year or depending on what location you're in. But as of 2021, the average starting salary for a public school teacher is around $40,000, with more experienced teachers averaging around $60,000 a year. And there can be other benefits, like technically having summers off, though teachers often do a lot of work during those months. It's also worth noting that teachers who are employed for at least five years full-time at a low-income school may qualify for partial forgiveness of their federal direct student loans, which can be nice. If you prefer a more traditional 9-to-5 job, you could put your education degree towards a career as a curriculum developer, which primarily involves creating educational materials, or an instructional coordinator, which is someone who helps implement new curricula and assess how effective it is. But it might also include advising teachers or district administrators, or working with local businesses, nonprofits, or arts organizations, such as museums. Instructional coordinators might also be responsible for devising teacher training programs, and salaries can vary widely, but generally run between $60,000 to $70,000 a year. And if you're full of big-picture ideas for making the education system run more smoothly, you might consider going into education policy for the government or a privately funded think tank. Like if you're an education policy analyst. This work is often demanding and involves devising policy recommendations around public education based on research. Salaries are usually around $60,000 to $70,000 in the private sector, but are often lower if you're working for the government. And if you're not ready to jump into the workforce right away, you could look into graduate school. A master's degree in education is a great way to supplement your credentials or to focus on an additional area of specialization. And a master's in teaching is a great option if you didn't major in education, but you would like to teach. In fact, it's worth noting that in 2018, more than half of teachers had a master's degree or higher. And it is possible to get a doctoral degree in education, which you might keep in mind for later in your career when you are ready to specialize even more. These come in two varieties, depending on the type of 
type of work that you want to do, an educational doctorate and a PhD in education. Educational doctorates are best if you want to become an administrator or top executive at the K-12 or college level, and a PhD is best if you want to pursue a career in academia, either teaching or doing research at the university level. So studying education not only opens up a multitude of career paths, it also prepares you to play a vital role in shaping the future of individual students and also our whole world. Education is such an important part of who we are, how we grow, and what opportunities we will have in life. What people learn and the experiences they have in school will affect them for their entire lives. And whether you are directly involved as a teacher, or you pursue administration, counseling, curriculum design, policy, or research, you'll have a hand in influencing those experiences. Education is certainly a major worth considering if you enjoy learning and helping people learn, and especially if you want to make a difference in the lives of others. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video gave you some new insights into what an education major could look like, and check out our other videos to look into more majors. This is part of the Study Hall program, a partnership between Arizona State University and Crash Course. If you liked this video or you found it helpful, it would be very helpful for us if you left us a comment letting us know how you chose your degree, how you're struggling to choose a degree, or what you wish you had known before you started your degree, because we, also want to know where you are at so that we can make the best kind of content for you.